friends today we'll be discussing with a very interesting topic and one of my favorite immunity but so what is immunity it is a protection provided by the immune system of the body In simple words I can define it as a state of resistance of an organism to invading both biotic or abiotic pathogens and their harmful effects that prevents the development of infection and maintains organism's integrity by countering neutralizing and clearing pathogen that is simply a state of protection from infectious disease It has both less specific or innate component and a more specific adaptive component. Another important term which we should be familiar when we discuss immunity is nothing but the immunogen. Immunogen is nothing but the substance that induces an immune response. When we move on with the classification, immunity can be classified broadly as innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Immunity, as we know, is the ability to recognize self cells from non self cells. The first part is the innate immunity. What is innate immunity? I can simply say it is the first line of defense against any type of infections. This I obtain, I get by the virtue of my birth. So I can call it as congenital immunity. It is genetically controlled, but age, sex, hormones do have very less role to play. It requires no previous exposures, and they execute a very rapid response within minutes. This is a non-specific type of immunity. That means it has a generalistic effect against a wide variety of organisms. That is, it is not directed against a particular immune agent. Another important feature is that it does not have any memory and does not confer a long-lasting immunity to a particular type of immunogen. This immunity affords about 99% of the whole immunity of the body. Next is the adaptive or the acquired immunity. What is adaptive immunity or the acquired immunity? This can be simply defined as the resistance of the immunity that I acquired during my lifetime. Since it is not by the virtue of birth, I can simply synonym it as non-congenital. It is it's not genetically controlled at all, but An important feature about acquired immunity is that it requires a prior exposure to an antigen to be executed. So, simply speaking, it is a specific defense which is mediated by specific antibodies and lymphocytes and that too against a specific pathogen. A very important feature about acquire or the adaptive immunity is that it develops memory and provides a long-lasting immunity to that specific antigen to which it was priorly being exposed. And that is the matter why a person does not normally get an infection which he or she might have been infected in his or her life for the second time. It accounts for just 1% of the total immunity of the body. 
but this component is very vital in that this is the only mechanism by which the body resists the pathogen after they have successfully crossed the innate immune barriers. So that for, that's all for this video. Thank you.